All right, hey there, everybody. So we've got this um, 3D models textures has this really cool sci-fi quarter construction set that I kind of want to play around with. Uh, especially, I like these cameras right here. So I went ahead and threw one of these cameras in a Unity, and you know that's cool. I like the camera, but I want it to be like doing some kind of sweep pattern or some security camera kind of thing. I want it to be behaving like this camera here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see how we can make it do this. Uh, one of the, the issues with this, however, is that we're not going to be able to build the animation right here within Unity. Because if I look at my main camera, you can see that it doesn't have, you know, the way that it's broke down here, it is the whole thing. Whereas I only want the camera body to be moving. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. So camera right here, I'm going to right click on it and go to show and explore so I can see where it is in my project folder. Let's pull up Maya real quick. And here in Maya, uh, what am I looking for? Um, assets. I'm going to go ahead and pull in the camera FBX right here, like so. All right, so I'm done with my project folder. And here is our camera. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my outliner, so Windows Outliner. And you can see that we have one object here, this U3D Mesh. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that. I'm going to call this Ceiling Camera. Now, I want to break this apart into individual pieces. Now, one thing as we take a look at this, I want you to notice that, for instance, this lens, notice that there's no geometry connecting the lens to the body of the camera or this mount to the body of the camera or this mount to that mount. Uh, what that tells us is that these were modeled as individual groups, as individual pieces. So I've got my whole object selected here, and I'm going to come up here to my uh, edit mesh. And down here, I'm going to hit Extract. And what that just did was it extracted all those individual groups. Now, I could have just selected some polys and extracted them. In this case, I didn't have to because they were already set up. So if, for instance, there actually was geometry connected to these, I could have just selected all this camera body and extracted it to create a separate, separate object like this. So next thing, I've got these four. I want to go ahead and uh, name these correctly so that uh, they make more sense and also set up a little parent-child relationship. So like this piece is my swivel arm and this piece is my camera body. So with camera body selected, I'm going to hold, go ahead, hold control and click swivel arm and then press P to create this parent where swivel arm and camera body are now related like that so camera body can move and swivel arm will stay where it is but if I move swivel arm camera body will go with it okay but if I just move camera body swivel arm stays there all right so let's see what is this surface that is a lens so I'll hold down control click camera body P to parent nice so that should make you the mount like so Swivel arm, control click mount, create a parent with the P key, and there we go. Okay, so we've got our parent set up. So now I'll go to camera body and notice where its pivot point is you know, as far as I want it to rotate, but I want it to rotate around this point right up here like it was bolted there or something, not rotating like that. That's not at all what I want. So let's go ahead and move this uh, pivot point. So I'll do a insert key, which is going to allow me to reposition my pivot point. Pull it up. Uh, did I go too far up? Eh, a little bit too far up. Be right about there. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Press insert to get out of that mode. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up my animations. Now, ideally, what I want to do is I want to have like a couple, a frame at the beginning that does not have any animation in it. So, you know, that, that's like your idle position, or not necessarily your idle, that's your uh, non animated stuff. So, frame one, I'll press S key. I'll bump myself up to frame two, press the S key again. Now, so I'm going to be running from frame three. I want 120 frames. So let's go, let's change this to 123, like so. Okay, now another thing. I don't want it to actually start here because then when 
when it loops, as far as this becoming the loop point, I'm going to have tangents going through there instead of it just being straight through. So I'm going to start it actually way over here. I'm going to start it like this point and do an S, put a key there. And that's also going to be my end point. So I'll go all the way down here to my 123 and go ahead and do another S right there. All right, so I want to go, um, well, let's see, probably about halfway, I would think, wouldn't you? Yeah, like 61, <laughs> 61 and a half or something like that is going to be all the way over to that side. Um, so, which I could have done in hindsight, I could have done this in just, just this part and then have it ping pong, but which I should have done. All right, so let's go all the way over here. There we go. We'll add a frame there. Let's play that. Okay, so you can see our animation playing. Good enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to select my ceiling mount, bring all the way back to frame one right there. Ceiling mount selected. Let's go to File, Export Selection. I'm going to put this on my desktop, and I'm going to call this Animated Camera. And then I'm going to take a look at my inclusions over here, my settings for my FBX. I want smooth and groove, smooth mesh, triangulate. Those are the ones that I, I really want. Animation needs to be turned on. I don't have to bake, so I just make sure animation is turned on. Uh, I don't have any deformers in this, so I don't need to send out deformers. Uh, let's see. Scrolling down, I don't want my camera, I don't want my lights, and I don't want the media. So I'm just going to turn those off. And go ahead and export this out. All right, we're done. So let's drop down into Unity and let's import that new one. Let's not bring up VLC. That's not what we're after. There we go. So animated camera. I'm going to drop him down into here. And go ahead and kind of put him out here into my world. And do some tweaking here. So animated camera and model. I need to set it up. My scale factor has to be 500 to match my other cameras just something I kind of happen to know about this uh, I'm gonna pull you up some and I'm gonna position you where I want you I'll put you over there there we go all right so back into animated camera first thing rig I see it's using a generic rig that means we're gonna have to set up a mech anim system for it or an animator controller not a big deal we'll do that animations I want to double check what I have here I'm importing my animations um, it's going from frame 1 to 123. That is not what I want. So frame 1 to frame 2 is going to be a, um, I'm going to call it pose. And that's just my non-animated spot. So like if I ever wanted, for some reason, this camera to not be moving, I wanted it just centered, I could use this pose. Uh, okay, so I've got that. So let's add another animation to what we've got. And this one is going to be... Did I not hit enter on pose? I guess not. Pose. There we go. This one is going to be, I'm going to call this ceiling camera sweep. And the reason I'm giving it such a detailed name is if, because if I had a wall mounted camera, maybe it's sweep pattern would be slightly different. Maybe I want five or six different patterns. Uh, so rather than have a whole bunch of things that are just called take one and be like, I don't know which one's which. I'll go ahead and give this a fairly detailed name. And this is going to run from frame 3 to frame 123. Um, so we can see it going right there, like so. Uh, I'm going to set it up to loop, so it will loop. It's got a little stutter there. Interesting. Did I not set that up quite right? Let's put this to 122. Because I think what's going on is it's hitting 123. Yeah, it's still kind of started. Let's try 121. See if we can get that to smooth out just a little bit there at the tail end. I know that might have gotten a little bit worse. What do you think? 120. Let's try to turn that loop pose on just a little bit there. Put 
play around with some stuff here, see if we can... I don't want this video to get too much longer, though. Okay, I'll just leave it like that for now. It's got a little stutter there at the end, kind of annoys me. So I'll apply that. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, moving on. So I've got my animation is set up, and my so I'm done with my animated camera. So what I need to do next, if I click the animated camera out here, I need to give it a controller. So create down here my project. I'm going to create an animator controller. That was not what I was trying to do. I don't know what I just pushed. Apparently I pushed something. Uh, create animator controller. There we go. And I'm going to call this my um, ceiling mount camera to differentiate it from animation controllers for other things. So let's go ahead and double click this. So here we are in our animator. So I'm going to bring in I'm going to go to my animated camera right here. I'm going to open this up, and I've got my two animations, my ceiling camera sweep. I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my pose out here as well. If I ever wanted to, I could connect a transition here and, and have that working. Okay, so that's all set up. So let's go back to animated camera. It needs my controller, so I'm going to grab ceiling mount camera and put it right there. And let's run this and see what happens. And there we go. We've got our camera sweeping. With that little stutter there at the end, that really bugs me. But anyway, so there's the basics. Uh, any questions, just let me know. Um, and obviously this could be expanded. We could be animating the swivel arm so that it comes down and other really cool stuff like that. All right, so any questions, just let me know.